about to give them what they want. I don't think they're ready for this, though. Beast mode. Beast mode. Beast mode. Beast mode. Beast mode. What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones representing Pump Chasers. You already know. Go to TigerFitness.com and get those Pump Chaser subs. And you already know, I got that online macro-based coaching and downloadable programs and meal plans at BeastMode316.com. Fuck with your boy. So guys, I got quite a few DMs and I read your comments on the last video. It was about the power of three. The three things you need to get a physique of greatness and keep it. But at the end of that video, I said you can turn that three into a six, okay? To create a foundation. You got the three things that you need to be in great shape, but there are three things under it that supports that, that will help you achieve a physical greatness and keep it. Let's go ahead and go to the office. I'm gonna go ahead and show you three more things you can add to this to achieve a physique of greatness. Guys, this is a fail-proof system. If you stick to these six things, I promise you, you will stay in shape for a very long time. But you gotta stay true to the game. You gotta respect the codes, baby. I'm gonna give you that game, but it's up to you to stick to it. Let's go to the office. Guys, right before I was going to the office, come here, Brookie. Right before, ah, right before I was going to the office, Brooke gave me this nice cup holder. She made a daycare. Yeah. She says, you're my hero. Thank you. Grab some kisses, Brookie. Ah, oh, thank you. Just wanted to share that moment with you guys. All right, let's go to the office, guys. Mwah. All right, fam. So here we are back in the office, guys. Back in the office. Okay, now let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room one more time. I already addressed it in the first video. Yes, the six-point star is associated with the Jewish community, and it's on the Israel flag, but this star has been around long before they even put that on their flag, long before it was even associated with the Jewish community. If you know anything about sacred geometry, the star tetrahedron has been around for a very long time. Geometry is involved with everything, and this six-point star right here, you can use this to your advantage. You can create a system for you that is foolproof, backed by the numbers and backed by the science. Just be sure to watch the first video because I don't want to really go too deep into the first three. Last video was about the three you need. That was nutrients, okay? That's macros, micros, and essentials. Essentials meaning water, you know, your uh, elements like the um, calcium, uh, magnesium, iron, shit like that. So. You know, micros and essentials, macros, calorie intake, that's your nutrients. And of course, we got training, that's weight training, cardio. And if you're competing or if you're cutting and want to take your definition to the next level, posing practice, that's why I got a star because it's optional. Y'all want to talk more about posing? Comment below, I can do some videos on that for you. Okay, and of course, rest, that's daily, weekly rest, rest between sets. Rest between workouts, you know, for an example, if you do a push day on Monday, when should you go back to the gym and do another push day? It's all about programming. And of course, overall recovery, rejuvenation, recovery in general, all falls in line with the rest. These three things, nutrient, rest, and training, they all matter independently and individually, but they bounce off each other. Bing, 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 and they support each other. You can't have one without the other. If you want the most optimal results, you want the most bang for your bulk, you need all three. But what about the foundation? Now, let's get to the foundation. Okay? So, the mind. Mindset. You might hear that word a lot. Mindset. Mind settings. Okay? So, check this out. That's respect for the laws. There's a laws when it comes to nutrients, thermodynamics, which is why. If you take in too many calories, okay? Thermodynamics is energy law. Too many calories, which is energy, if you're not burning those calories off, it's gonna cause an imbalance. You're taking in too many calories, guess what? You're gonna store a lot of body fat. You have to respect the law of thermodynamics. You can't escape that. 
Law of physics, law of the land. Which is why when we're squatting and deadlifting, the bar has to travel along your center of mass. I don't care if you got long legs, short legs, whatever. That bar must travel along the center of mass because you have to obey the law of physics. Even when we're benching. When we're benching, elbows is what? 45 degrees. That's why form is very important. It will keep you from getting hurt. And it will ensure you're hitting the muscles properly. Respect those laws. Rest. The central nervous system needs rest. Muscle repairing needs rest. Respect the laws. So use your mind and understand you must respect these laws, respect these rules. Self-governing. Guys, nobody's going to make you do this shit. Nobody's going to get you out of bed and make you train. You have to self-govern yourself. And of course, consciousness, awareness. There's been times, and I'm pretty sure some of you guys can relate, you don't even realize you fell off. Life happens until you see an old picture of yourself. You're like, damn, what the fuck happened to me? I used to look amazing. Or you might have a friend come to you and say, hey, you're losing a little weight. Are you still training? Are you still eating? Sometimes we're not aware. Our minds are in other places, right? So again, maintain a high level of consciousness awareness. Not just about your surroundings and shit like that, but awareness about yourself. And when it comes to self-governing, that's in all areas, all angles, time management. We hear so many people say all the time, I don't have the time or whatever other excuses you have. See, when you self-govern yourself, all the bullshit out the window. Self-governing applies to all that shit. So we got that out the way. Now let's get to the last two. Now you might have seen ancient books, even books like the Bible. You might even have seen hieroglyphic photos of Egyptians weighing the heart. That's because we are emotional beings. The heart is very powerful and it has been proven by science that the heart produces more electromagnetic waves than the brain itself. The heart is very powerful and if you're not careful, your emotions can outweigh your logic which is why you have to have a strong mind. But we can use that to our advantage. Okay, if we're emotional beings and the heart is stronger than the brain itself, well let's make sure we have passion. See, when you're passionate about this shit, when you love what you're doing, you don't need nobody to make you do nothing. When you're passionate about this shit, three hours in the gym feels like 30 minutes. How many of you guys can relate? How many people have told you, you spend too much time in the gym, see, they can't relate. They don't have that kind of passion. See, it's hard to measure passion, but passion does exist, okay? So make sure that emotion that emotional side of the mind, that emotional aspect of you is tied into this. Make sure you love what you're doing. If you love what you're doing, nobody has to make you do anything and you're loving every minute of it. There is nothing like having passion vibrating through every cell of your body, vibrating through your veins, okay? Passion, love, make sure you're emotionally invested in this shit. And I'm telling you, you'll be in this iron game for the long run. So not only do we have an emotional aspect to us, we also have a logical side, which is why we need discipline, guys. We need discipline. And when it comes to discipline, just like when you build your physical body, we have a metaphysical aspect to us. This is metaphysical. You don't see the mind. I see the shit that you do, but you can't see somebody's mind. That is metaphysical. Just like you build the body, you can build the metaphysical aspect of yourself. You might have heard the term mind, body, and spirit. That is legit, guys. You need all three of those things. There's a mental aspect of you, there's a physical aspect of you, and there's a spiritual aspect of you. All three must be aligned. So just like you can train the physical, you can train the metaphysical aspect, and discipline is the way to do it by creating habits and sticking to those habits. Okay, when you're trying something new, it's going to feel awkward and weird at first because you're having brain waves. You're creating patterns with the brain. Those brain waves, those patterns, you got to go through that shit over and over. Do that shit over and over and over until it becomes second nature. Just like in the gym, right? With the training, we have a thing called repetition. But guess what? Your habits is another form of repetition. Doing shit over and over again, but doing it the right way. 
and you're doing it constantly, month after month, year after year, eventually that shit will become second nature to you. And those patterns will be locked in. So let's say hypothetically speaking, your passion fades a bit, your motivation fades a bit. You'll be so disciplined that you'll still keep going anyway because it's instilled in you. It's locked in with you. So sometimes where the passion might fade a little bit or the motivation might fade a little bit, but guess what? That discipline will keep you going. Cause I love passion. Let me tell you, I love passion. But I'm gonna keep it real with you. There have been times in my life when my passion has faded, but guess what? I've still been training year after year. Wanna know why? Because I'm so fucking disciplined that I literally can't stop. It's locked into me. You feel me? And that's how you gotta be, guys. Train the metaphysical aspect of yourself by creating habits, preferably good habits, because guess what? Energy works both ways. Just like good habits are hard to break, bad habits are hard to break, which is why we have people that are addicts. They're addicted to things that are tearing them down, and it's hard for them to shake that monkey off their back, right? Because even bad habits are hard to break. Use that to your advantage. Create good habits. Perform those habits week after week, month after month year after year and let me tell you it will be very hard to break those habits because they're locked in again when you perform acts your brain literally goes through patterns and create waves that's why perfect example guys how many guys can relate to this you miss a week from the gym or you miss a few days from the gym you feel like shit that's because your body likes to be in harmony it likes to keep a rhythm going. It likes to keep a balance going. Your body is a well-designed machine and it loves to be in balance. So if you've been doing something for years and it's natural to you, that's your second nature, that is literally your balance. And anytime you get off balance, you're gonna start having these voices in your head trying to get you back to balance. But again, the shit works in reverse. Let's say you're a fucking drug addict. And then you're trying to get off the drugs. You're going to have these voices in your head telling you, get back on the drugs. Or get back on the alcohol. Or whatever else you're addicted to that's really holding you back. Anything that you're addicted to, whether it's a good addiction or a bad addiction, it's going to be hard to break because your body likes to keep a certain harmony. It likes to keep a certain balance. Use that knowledge to your advantage. Create these good habits and stick to them no matter what. Because, again, if your passion ever fades, this will keep you going. Because let me tell you this. Once the discipline is gone, and once that passion is gone, good luck. Good fucking luck. All you have left is your mind. But if you're not emotionally invested and you've been off your habits and off your patterns too long to where you lost the momentum. Notice in physics, they have a thing called momentum. You've lost your momentum. Then good fucking luck. So let's say, God forbid, you're stressed out, you're depressed or some shit, and you lose your mind. You're done. These three things don't even matter no more. Good luck trying to train and stick to a routine when you have no discipline, you have no passion, and your mind is fucked up. So these three things right here are great. Training, rest, and nutrition, guys. But you gotta make sure that foundation is in place. And just like we're building a building, a building is nothing without a solid foundation. Therefore, you, yourself, must have a solid foundation. Be the best version of yourself, guys. You owe it to yourself to be the best version of yourself. You already know, fam. If you're cutting especially and you need some extra energy, guys, Cuts FTS Thermogenic Fat Burner, guys, you will not be disappointed. Okay, one of my top selling products at TigerFitness.com. I have online macro-based coaching at BeastMode316.com and downloadable programs and meal plans that are very easy to follow. Guys, thank you guys for your support over the years and I will see you at the next video. Don't forget to like my shit. Like my shit. You know that shit was good. You know that shit was good. Like my shit. Comment, subscribe. Holla back at your boy. Peace.
before we fuck up these weights.